Hello everyone, welcome to this new Touch Designer tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to see this uh, basic uh, feedback network but with a uh, output in, uh, with an interesting output. So um, the things we're going to cover in this tutorial are these five uh, different kinds of output we, we could have and they're all done in with these uh, operators so i'm going to delete this and we're going to start from scratch okay so the first step is we're going to add a noise this sorry noise this noise needs to be uh, 12 80 by 1280 for non-commercial users users uh, pixel format to 32 bit float uh, period to 0.1 um, okay, we turn on off or monochrome and we have this this texture so the next step is to add the feedback in this feedback we could add a keyboarding chop so with this chop we can reset the feedback with the a key the one key also if we want to have a clean network we can dock this uh, operator to the next uh, sorry to the operator that is controlling we can do this by a right click, selecting dock2, and then when the network change, we select the operator we want to dock it. So this feedback, and now we have this uh, arrow. So if we click over it, we can hide and unhide or a uh, component so next step here is to add uh, this place this this place will be connected with a blur after the feedback then a level And finally, we connect it to the displays. This displays, uh, we need to have a very, very, very low displays weight. But before we continue with that, we're going to add here a monochrome because we want to uh, change this output to the decided color we, we want. So then to do that, we will add a lookup. And after the lookup, we can add a transform. So we can have the background color always to be black. And finally, a null. And this null, we can rename to BG and we're going to make it visible. Okay, uh, so the next step here is to this displays we're going to drag it to the feedback and something is happening but as i said before uh, we need a very 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 low displays weight because even with this uh, minimum value we need a very very minimum value and I found that for this kind of artwork, artwork the this value is that the one that work that works well. So as you can see now, we can start seeing those uh, bubbles, kind of. So 
here in our this place we need to change also the extent to repeat or to mirror both work well so but i work with repeat so i will use repeat okay so here the next thing we need to play with these these things amplitude but the thing that that make this uh, kind of shapes the the first ones the ones that look like bubbles is using this blur at the maximum values here for the filter size to 32 and pressing to 8 so when we do this uh, we start seeing these bubbles uh, warping and now we can look up them with the colors we want so you can do this uh, manually with a ramp you can select here first color any 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 color you you like so if we reset this with the one key now we can start seeing these these shapes but uh, i like to use a component this color lower speaker that is available in the derivative side for free so here you can choose a color palette from the ones that are here and you can uh, focus on the process for the visual and maybe use these these colors some some of them work very well you can also add here a transform this transform you can change here the translate to pixels we go to the tile page and extend to repeat so we are not translating pixels if we see the size of this uh, texture is five pixels per, per one so if we translate here our pixels we can uh, have a different uh, a different output but with the same color palette uh, here there is the trick that to make this output look more uh, more metal liquid and the first one is adding a, a mesh i think is is the 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 one that makes that makes this so we need to change the string to 10 and comp over input and finally change the edge color to black so now with this setting we can start seeing that when the blobs or the blossoms form it looks more metallic the other one is to play with this uh, monochrome to the rgb parameter you can choose uh, di these different uh, channels and you get a different uh, output for for each one but uh, I use for all of these the RGB maximum and that work well also so this is the first I think the the first output I have let me see if I'm missing something um, maybe here we can translate with Epstein dot seconds by by point one, and we can play with this. Uh, there is no path to this, so you can change to simplex four D and change all of this to a different uh, value, and it will have a different output so 
that's the the basic this is uh, maybe the the, the basic uh, setup to to make this kind of uh, liquid metal uh, blobs blossoms i don't know <laughs> how to say but uh, we can start adding more uh, variations to this so the first variation we can add is after this blur we can put an slope so we put this slope and then this is not moving because this value is very very low so we need to change it to 50 we can start seeing this movement and the sample step also to 50 and we can change also this uh, opacity but we need to have very uh, high values because if we do slow uh, low values uh, we have this uh, wave movement so maybe maybe 0 0.85 oh sorry so uh, also we need to re change this and always we need to play with our noise so as you can see now uh, the blobs are more defined because of this slope and if we wait uh, the right time we start seeing like this uh, Boronoi patterns and always uh, because this is the place in over time they will disappear in some time so this this place also we can do it more fast so now you can see how these again are forming this uh, also works well with low period values for this first noise and that's that's it uh, you can also change here uh, a different color and also switch the transform to a different uh, position in the x axis and you will have these uh, outputs okay so that's the second one second one uh, variation to make the the third one we can also here uh, add or convert this to monochrome and uh, adding this will uh, change the behavior uh, it looks more more slow and more defined the the, the pattern so <clears throat> the the next thing we need to do here to uh, have a different outcome is the after this slope we need to add a, an emboss uh, this emboss uh, change or or texture in this case to to um, to monochrome so that's why it's like displacing in a diagonal but it also looks looks well we need to change here the strength to 100 the sample step to 100 also sorry and 
we can start seeing now that like fake 3d uh, um, displays that that is having this um this texture we can also uh, load this blur so now we can see it better this displacement uh, also remember to change the color because uh, it looks good with some colors but uh, not with any of those so i think maybe this can look interesting yeah it, it looks looks good yeah this this one so now it looks very very um metallic i think uh, as as i said before the magic is done with this edge because if we bypass it the outcome uh, it looks very very weird but voila this edge is doing maybe all the magic for the texture we're seeing so um here you need to or you can play with any any parameter you like there's nothing maybe right because as you can see a uh, low period we have more of these blobs you can also change your exponent and see that it has a different behavior so i i, I like this uh, it's it's interesting uh i i didn't play with this but i think it also works works good maybe five okay so what else we can do here uh the blur in this case it was six and 24 yeah mm. the embos i changed it to red yeah it was that i that i was missing uh, you change this to any of these parameters and you will have your different behavior so red red works works good yeah uh, the next thing or the next variation it's uh, very simple because we need to get the emboss slope and we go back to the start but our blur we change it to 8 and the filter to 12 and yeah looks looks nice so here the trick is to add another noise this noise we need to have a period of two uh, one of harmonics my harmonics split like 20 and you can start seeing this this different uh, behavior uh, also we turn off monochrome so we can now have this displacement for all the the axis and not only in the diagonal and finally our output we need to uh, multiply our input by the noise and now we have this this new variation so maybe with a different color looks better uh, let me let me see maybe uh, 
I don't know. Yeah, th this looks good. Also, you know, you can shift your palette so it will look very, very different. I like this. This this looks good. So yeah, that that's uh, basically it. So here also you can play with your period, maybe more. And also doing the magic of abs time dot seconds by point one. And now we have this. If he's going too fast, you can also uh, change this amplitude. Change this. And the important one is this display wave that is doing the, also the, the movement. So now here we can see it in a smooth way. It looks very sorry very very good i like it yeah so yeah that that's the the third uh, variation um, yeah and finally the 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 last one or well you can also uh, bypass this and we have different behavior too so it's your sir it's really your your choice how you want to experiment with these uh, uh, operators but i think there's a lot of um lot of things that we can work with and have very very interesting uh, outcomes so the last one is um, to make our input noise monochrome we make it monochrome we oh yeah that's interesting too it will look like another wow yeah i like it so um i think this this is a, a good output okay so um this list this last one we need to change or proceeding to like this like two and now we, we can start seeing this like 3d depth that is very very good filter size up to 24 yeah i i like it very much so what else the the input noise we can look like point three harmonics to one exponent okay uh -huh. and i think that finally this noise will help us to make it more like liquid so I amplitude to 2 and yeah it looks more like watercolor like paint also here we're going back to a very very low uh, displacement 
and the color palette that I was using for this was this one so yeah I think that that's it so you can you can start playing with all of these 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 parameters also uh, if you want this kind of displacement like for all the the directions you don't need to use emboss because we it will convert to to monochrome and you will have an a horizontal or a, a diagonal displacement so maybe for this last one do, doesn't work well but you can you can experiment so see yes that, that, that that's it i hope this tutorial was useful and funny for for you to follow and show me your uh, your variations maybe you have a very outcome like the ones i had and uh, tag me if, if you do it on in instagram and and that's it any comment please leave it leave it in the comment section and and if you want to support me like to have these final files for of my tutorials or just a, a small support you can do it by by patreon this uh, this well this file not will be but the file with the variations that i uploaded to my instagram will be available for all my patrons so also i want to thank all of the people that are uh, supporting me for these things that i'm doing these tutorials i hope i can have more time in the future to deliver more tutorials and more interesting techniques and that's it i want to thank you all again all the people supporting me and i will see you on the next tutorial goodbye